A group of community partners have come together to feed the hungry. But rather than collecting canned food or non-perishable items, they're growing fresh produce instead. Storyteller Erin Valley is here with us now with a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so this is a true labor of love for our neighbors in need. And as you know, it's that time of year where things are in the ground and taking root. It's Solidarity Gardens See You, and I just had to see one for myself. They didn't last week. This week people. the red herring is off though, and so um, I'm trying to get it all there before the bucket brigade goes out Wednesday. At Meadowbrook Park in Urbana, Melissa Stone and Fiona Monroe lead me through the mud. This is 12 plots total of the garden. These were kindly donated by the park district. It's awesome to see it so, you know, ready and growing, and I'm really excited to see what we get the rest of the year. French breakfast radishes greet us from the soil between rows of lettuce and a patch of fresh herbs. I was thinking a lot about what folks had asked for at our like free market and at the mobile market and cilantro was really popular. The spring crops in the ground will soon be harvested and replaced by summer fruits and vegetables. The garden, an answer to a problem. Despite the fact that we live in a region home to some of the most fertile soil in the world, one in seven people in East Central Illinois lacks access to affordable, nutritious food. You know, many folks who would really benefit from having a garden are living in apartments where they don't actually have the space to, to garden their own food. So this project is meant to speak to some of that by really pairing those people that have the know-how and the, and the skills and the capabilities with the, the folks that need that food. It's gardening for good. Solidarity Gardens CU popped up as a solution to combat food insecurity during the pandemic. Now, it's here to stay. With the help of Sola Gradia Farm and community partners like Cunningham Township and the Channing Murray Foundation, most of the food grown in this spot will go to food banks, soup kitchens, mobile markets, and more. Of course, all of that work is going to take the help of volunteers. Um, so this is a great way to kind of learn from some of the masters in town. I don't consider myself a super great gardener, so even I'm learning a lot. The project is in need of people to come by weekly and tend to various solidarity gardens throughout CU. Melissa is the leader at Victory Park Garden in Urbana, and she says she gets a kick out of offering support to gardeners with a wide range of styles and experience. I think it's just nice to get outside and to socialize with others and see how other gardens grow. Everybody's interpretation of gardening is different and everybody produces food. And so it's interesting to see what every volunteer can add to the project. But if your thumb isn't exactly green, or if you can't offer help regularly, there are other projects that volunteers can tackle, such as building raised beds, clearing weeds, or beautifying the plots with signage efforts that bring people together and tie into the project's larger mission of neighbor feeding neighbor. But I think gardeners are very quirky folks, um, so they're very fun to hang around. And the opportunity to grow this food and, you know, see it from go from a seed to a whole plant and then give that to someone who really wants it and needs it is very, very fulfilling. Whether you're a gardener, good at construction, or into art and design, this project could use your talents. For info on volunteering and more, we've got you connected online at ciliving.tv.